Hi friends, welcome to Enlightened World Network. Dr. Ruth Anderson here for a meditation a day. Today we have a very special guest, Jeanette smith Weselowski, and we adore Jeanette here at EWN. She's been on with us many times and can't wait for this meditation today. Jeanette, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for inviting me. I was so excited when you sent me the message and um, it's been a while. Had a lot going on, so I'm excited to be here and um, lead everybody through this meditation. And like we spoke off of the camera, um, not sure where it's going to take us, but I'm going to allow it just to flow. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Okay, so everyone, if you want to just get comfortable wherever you're at. And when you're ready, you can close your eyes. Just relaxing in the moment, taking this time for yourself. Nowhere else to be, nothing else to do. Beginning to become aware of the surface beneath you that is supporting you. Noticing your skin touching that surface. knowing that you are held and supported in this moment. Calling in our light teams to be with us and support us during this meditation. Allowing ourselves to receive whatever it is that we need in this moment. And that's really all we need to do is just allow. So just gently breathing in and out. And what we're gonna do is take three deep breaths in and slowly let it out. So let's take our first breath in. Hold and slowly let it out. Deep breath in. Hold and slowly let it out. One more time, deep breath in. And slowly let it out. Returning to your natural breath. Maybe if you're noticing any tension held in the body, just putting your awareness there, allowing it to relax. And I want you to imagine, if you will, a beautiful ball of source light in the heavens above. And if you want to, you can invite this ball of source light to send a beam of light down, coming in straight to the crown, the top of your head. And this beautiful white source light begins to fill your entire body. Beginning with the head space, the pineal gland, the third eye, filling all the spaces in your head and into your face. And this beautiful light goes down into the throat chakra. Imagine it filling the entire space in your throat and around your throat. 
And from there, this light goes down into your shoulders, into your upper back, your chest, your upper chest, down into your arms, down into your hands and to the ends of your fingertips. And then this light begins to fill the entire heart space, your heart chakra. And this light brings in healing, brings in peace and calm, allowing your body to relax. The trillions of cells in your body, each having a consciousness of its own and each cell knows exactly what to do with this light, whatever is in your highest good. And this light travels down into the solar plexus, front and back, down into the sacral area and your lower back. Down into the root chakra, into your hips and thighs. down into your lower legs and into your feet. And from there, this beam of light goes down through the floors of your home or wherever you're at, going down into the earth, down through all the underground caverns, and rivers and oceans, down into the center of Gaia, and Gaia takes this light and in return she sends her own light up through the earth through all the oceans, the underground rivers and mountains, coming up through all the layers, coming up into the home you're in or wherever you are at this time, coming up through your feet, up into your lower legs, into your thighs and hips, filling the root chakra area. And just like the source light, this light will fill all the cells in your body, the trillions of cells. And from here, it goes up into the sacral, into the lower back, up into the solar plexus, in the mid back, up into your heart space, and into the upper back, into your shoulders, and down your arms, into your hands, into your fingertips. Now into the throat chakra. And going up into the head space, into the third eye, by neal gland, and finally coming out through the crown and going up to the ball of source light in the heavens above. And now we are all pillars of light connecting the center of the earth to the heavens above. Allowing this energy to run through your body. Allowing yourself to receive whatever it is you need in this moment. Allowing yourself to be supported. Asking our light teams to assist us with this.
We'll just sit for a moment in silence and enjoy the energy. Now we'll begin to expand our energy, connecting us to the entire earth, bringing in peace at a time when it's so needed, bringing in love. So we expand this light out into our etheric bodies. From here, we expand this light out to fill the entire room that we're in. And now we expand this light out to fill the entire home that we're in, whatever we're in, a building, an apartment, or a house. And this light begins to fill all the inhabitants of the house, the plants, any animals that you may have, any other family or friends that are with you. And now we expand this outside of our homes, expanding it out over the town that we're in, bringing this light to all our neighbors, to all our pets, to all the animals, to all the trees, the flowers to the grass, maybe to the ponds or lakes. And from here, we expand it out to fill the entire country that we're in, bringing this beautiful, healing, peaceful light to the rivers, to the lakes, to all the animals, to the plant life, to the trees, right down to the tiniest little insect, everyone and everything receiving this beautiful light. And now we expand this light to encompass the entire globe, connecting us all, connecting our hearts, connecting our energies, connecting our light and connecting the light from the heavens above in the center of Gaia. Bringing this light to the oceans, to the sea life, to all the plants, to all the humans, to all the animals, to all the trees, to everything that has been created on this earth. Filling it all with this beautiful, peaceful, healing light. Connecting us all, we are all one. Connecting the entire planet to the heavens above and to the center of the earth. As above, so below, as within, so without. We are all one. There is no separation. It's all an illusion. We are all connected in one way or another. When you see your another, you see yourself. we could all just do a little something to bring a little peace, just a smile to somebody or a compliment. It doesn't have to be a really big thing. It's something so simple that causes a ripple effect 
affects so many more people. It goes beyond what we can comprehend. Just a little thing, just a smile at somebody who really needs it. Just bringing your awareness to your heart space. And as I speak the light language, allowing yourself to receive whatever it is you need at this time. Allowing the light codes to fill your body. Shera kutua ke kiata ono o maka, ke kiata otu asate i shikia, kutulo otu asaka atata, atatana o kata aesia. Ke kiata otu asatana, me kiata ashe kiata tu sotu ata, e ata kuku ata asa na u ata, e kia tua chia. Era tu ata ti ata kuku ata me ata shuku ata esaki kuku ata ata enakae aka esiata atu sotoa era tu kuata te ke matua sakeata se atu tu ata te akia kuku ata amaya. Iki akata ati ata ta 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 ta. Shia duku ata e asa. E tu ati aku mo ata ya. E si ata ku ate. Shia katu asa te ana. E si ata ku ata e. Tura kukua te tia sata e si tia matai e tia ka o shuku wata te asata e tia katana uku wata e ki atara tuku wata seya e shi kata e si ata ata e te ti kata tatu asata ki ata o maku wata e shi ata tuku wa atai e ki ata tana atai Otuasa. Ki ki ata ata ata. Otuata ki ata ata ea tu uasa. Mata e ki ata ata. E shi aka ata tu kouata. E ki ata na ouata si ki ata. E ti da ata. Ki ata ra. Otuata ki ata ki ata te a. Oa ki ata. Allowing the light codes to wash over you like a gentle rain, beginning to fill your body you don't have to understand what was said. It's an energetic transmission. And your body will know what to do with the light codes. You may receive some messages later. And if you don't, that's okay too.
Let's take a deep breath in together. And slowly let it out. Beginning to bring your awareness back into your body. Maybe wiggling your fingers and toes. Bringing us back into the room that we're in. And counting us back from five. Four, three, two, and one. When you're ready, you can open your eyes, you can stretch. Stretching really helps to allow the light codes to integrate. Mm. Jeanette, thank you. Mm. You mentioned bringing a smile or a compliment to someone who needs it. And what a tricky time for us to be alive. And the thought came to me during this meditation, how... Can we be there for ourselves as well as for others? And you and I, before we came on, mentioned the topic of holding space for someone else. What are your thoughts on holding space, holding someone in love and positive energy? What, what does holding space mean for you? Holding space is very, very important to me. And in fact, because um, I was going through a rough time um, back in June, I actually stopped holding space for a while. I I, I was having my in-person women's circles and um, I just didn't feel that at that point I could hold sacred space because I was trying to navigate things that were um I was trying to bring myself back into alignment and if I didn't feel like if I was in alignment that I could hold space for others so I feel that holding space is a very very sacred and precious thing to be able to do so I think that um being able to do this today was very important to me so when you sent the message to me and I was like yes you know this, I feel aligned, this feels aligned. And sometimes it's just sitting in silence and listening to somebody. Sometimes it is holding space for a group during meditation. Um, oh gosh, I think holding space comes in so many different forms, holding space when I do energy work for other people. Um, it's just very sacred and we have to be in alignment ourselves before we can even have that privilege, you know? So, so one day if you're having a bad day, it's, you know, it's okay. It's all right. It's just not the best day to maybe hold space for somebody else, hold the space for yourself, like you said. And I think that's important too. I think taking that time for ourselves, you know, we're, we 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 want to nurture other people. We want to take care of other people. We're in this space, right? But sometimes we just need to take the time for ourselves just to get back into alignment, to take a breath, you know, especially with everything going on in the world right now. Mm -hmm. So and I, I'd be curious to what what is your thoughts on it as well? Well, you know, it's it's interesting because sometimes I will go into meditation and then energetically someone that I'm very concerned about will show up 
right next to me and be there for meditation with me. And I find that to be, it just feels so healing because they're there for whatever spirit has for them. But just being together like that. Yeah. And it's, it's really kind of like loving somebody from afar. And, you know, it's not hovering over them, but it's just I really just holding them in spirit. You know, yeah. I've, I've been working on this a lot with yeah. With, you and me both <laughs> with different things happening around yeah. me, but it's interesting too. I I um two weeks ago, uh, not even two weeks ago, but it was it, two weekends ago. It was very very difficult. I, I was just not in a good place, and I have a friend who I've never met in person, just like you. You know, it's it's always been online. She sent me a message and she said, "I just want to let you know I'm here for you." She had no idea what I was going through, none whatsoever. And she said, um, and if you need to talk, I'm here. So I responded and I was like, I'm not surprised that you sent me this message because I really am not in a good place right now. And she said, you came to me in a dream and said that you were not doing good. That blew me away. It's like we are just so connected on so many levels and to have that and and I I'm I I did respond to her and I I need to talk to her a little bit more but um it, that just blew me away and I had a couple of other people and you had reached out to me uh, one day just saying how grateful you were to have me in your life and it just <laughs> I melted <laughs> I was like oh I needed to hear that so it was sent to me at just the right time yeah. So just those little those little things. Just just if if you're thinking of somebody, send them a little message and just let them know that you're thinking of them. You know, that's it just means so much. It means more than you know. And I feel like if everybody did that once a day, what a beautiful place this world would be, you know. I think it I think a lot of people do do it, but I think we could use some more. Yeah, absolutely. Jeanette, thank you. This was beautiful. Is there anything you would like EWN viewers to know about you? Um, just that at this time, I'm. Um, you can reach me on Facebook or on Instagram. Um, and I am. I'm actually. I've been getting the nudge to uh, go back to doing some online circles. So. Watch out for it. <laughs> Great. We'll look forward. Keep you posted. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, Jeanette, thank you so much for this message. How we can be there for ourselves and for others. Needed more now than ever, friends. So thank you all for being here. Take good care. God bless. We'll see you all soon. Thank Bye. you.